Hi, my name is Julia, and I'm going to do a vector cross product sample problem for you. So, let's say we have two vectors. Um, let's say that between them there's an angle of 30 degrees. Now let's say this one has a magnitude of 3, and this has a magnitude meaning the length of six. Um, so we're taking, let's say this is A and this is B, and we're finding the cross product of A and B. So let's start out by finding what the magnitude of the cross product is. And to get that, we take the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B, multiply it by the sine of theta, which is this angle here, so we put in 30 degrees, and the magnitude of A is 3, B is 6, and the sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. So 3 times 6 is 18, times 1 half is 9. So 9 is the magnitude of the cross product, what we need is the direction because ultimately the cross product is itself a vector. For this we use the right hand rule and you take your thumb and this represents vector A and this finger represents vector B. Now the cross product is always perpendicular to the two initial vectors that you use in your cross product and we match them up and your resultant vector goes in the direction that your middle finger is pointing in. So straight at you, right there, going at you, is our cross product with a magnitude of nine. So my name's Julia, and that was a sample of a vector cross product.